What's up, mom? This is Unity, and I'm here to do another Unity Afrocentric design. And this is Kwanzaa Day Three, which is is Ujima, and Ujima means collective work and responsibilities. Y'all should see a little more about it going across. So this will be called this design, Ujima. What I'm going to use first is a um kind of like a this color is called buttermilk as a base color for this design and i'm i'm doing mines on wood and as i say in every video you can use this design on t-shirts you can use this design on canvas on big pieces of wood on greeting cards anything you want to use this design on so the first thing, let's base it. I'm gonna base my background, which kind of looks similar to the wood color. If y'all looking at this series of Afrocentric designs, if you have celebrated Kwanzaa, can you tell me in the description box what is your favorite day of Kwanzaa? If it's just one, if it's all, if you never celebrated Kwanzaa, there's a link in the description box that could tell you more about Kwanzaa. And each video will tell you what each principle means. And if one of them or two of them or color resonate you, you can put that down because I will be picking someone to win a pair for Kwanzaa at the end of Kwanzaa as a gift. As I told y'all in the first video, and that link to the first day will be in the description box. All the links to every day will be in the description box. So if you have to go back and look at it. At the end of Kwanzaa, they have a big feast and they give gifts. And it's seven days of Kwanzaa and they give seven gifts to the children. We prefer the gifts to be black owned handmade so you know for the children they don't have to be but it's kind of goes in with the next one after this one which is ujama which means corporate economics so we'll talk about that more in the next video so i done base these with the buttermilk paint which is a beautiful paint if y'all can see that, it's a beautiful color. And then um, we're going to start on the design. Okay, so I did the base of the earring. So now I'm going to take some black paint. And then we're going to put some going across here like this. And then I want to put another right here. I'm going to take brown paint. You can use a dark brown, light brown, whatever color brown you want. And then we're going to maybe put it right here. Why these three are drying for a minute let's go on and put some designs I'm using the brown paint so let's do like a circle We put three circles and then we'll take the black paint and then let's just put a little dot in the inside 
and then let's take the black paint again and we just put like a wave you see that let's put like a wave above there and if y'all have paint pens y'all can use paint pens if y'all have them i use some and um, i was gifted some so i will put that in the description box if y'all would like to use the paint pens let's go down here and we're going to use the black paint and let's do like a v v right here and then we put another smaller v in the inside you see that so let's turn it upside down it look like a triangle and then we'll put another smaller one see how that design look let's do it again We put that one on top and then do it this way. And then we'll put smaller right here. And then the next thing I want to do is grab some more brown paint and then we're going to just make some squares. Let's just do a circle. And down in the middle. And then we're going to put some little pity lines right here. Like a little wave. Let's do that again. A wave. Okay. Dry completely. And then we're going to come in and put some designs right in the middle all right the next thing that i'm going to do to finish these off we're just going to take some gold paint and then we're going to put a line right here line right here line right here and on this side and then we're going to take some black paint and we're going to put a dot right there a dot right there a dot right there a dot right there and then we're going to get the car akari shell akari shell is very spiritual it's femininity it um it worth a lot of money in certain parts of the world you can use this to buy a lot of things I'm putting a little glue on here and this is gorilla glue I like to use this and then we're going to stick this car shell right in the middle mine's got a little paint right here let's cover that up stick it right in the middle <clears throat> and then I did paint the sides of mine's gold and we're going to let that dry and then I'll show y'all that I already did this one. Just kind of flip the colors, but it's the same design. It, it came out beautiful. Let me gloss them, hook them, and I'll show y'all how this look on me. Also remember that you can use this design not just on earrings. You can also use this African print design on many things. Let me show y'all how these look once they completely done. This is the finished earrings. Look how fly they are. I love this design. What I did, I flipped them because this was the one we was working on. And when I went over here, I put this this one at the bottom just to make it look so cultured. But the car is shell, everything just looks so dope. And yeah, so this is Ujim means collective work and responsibilities. It's similar to unity to me. So y'all y'all see what it means in definition. This design is dope. I know I want to put this on something else. And a lot of these I have like a 
a um I'm working on some guidance cards I don't know if they're gonna be between three and five or seven or nine it's gonna be like some little quick guidance cards maybe nine because it's um, I turned nine years old so I'm gonna put I'm gonna kind of incorporate some of these design or probably mix them all together on the back of those cards I think that'll be so fly so I hope y'all enjoying this Kwanzaa DIY Kwanzaa series with these prints these prints are so cool it's so cool so the next one will be Ujama so that will be the next with this series y'all support back businesses please support back businesses um, my business is a black business and how I support myself is the help of y'all so I really think y'all I have a segment on the channel called black business spotlight and if you would like to be featured in black business spotlight send a email to boabwa b-o-a-b-w art at gmail.com and I will send you information feature your business on black business spotlight that will be the next one Ujama. I remember when I first moved to Tallahassee, they used to have a store called Ujama. I used to hear it on the radio all the time. He was like, Ujama, come visit Ujama. And I don't even I think I don't even know if I went in there. I can't remember. I was kind of young when I first moved here. But I remember used to hearing that all the time. So it's like once I start doing Kwanzaa for my children when they was younger, my sons are grown. But once I started doing Kwanzaa for them, then I realized, like, I used, I was like, I used to always hear Ujama, and now I see why. Like, that's dope to have a store called Ujama. It'd be dope to have a store called any of these proceeds of Kwanzaa. So y'all check the description box and see. I put got some links in the description box. If you want to know more about Kwanzaa, if you never celebrate it, it's not a religious holiday. Check those links out. I have a video of the founder, Dr. Karinge. It's a video link and you see him talking about please check the description box out if you want to donate to this channel as as low as a dollar um, the my PayPal link and my cash app all that is in the description box I also take care of Pharaoh stray and I foster and right now I'm taking care of five cats sometimes six or seven because some other ones will come on the back most I took at, at one time was 10. <laughs> that was a lot. And majority of them was um, kittens. And I done got a lot of them adopted out. I done got five of those adopted out. Praise be to the universe. And yeah, I miss them. Because I raised some of them for a baby. I got a, a, a vlog video coming up. And I'm going to show y'all when I went and got them from outside. It's cool. like All that footage that I got on that. Um, I know a lot of people not cat people, but if you study our history, it's African people, especially going back to ancient Kemet, ancient Egypt, cats are very sacred and they can see the souls of people. All right. I was a cat in my former life. <laughs> All right, y'all let me go, but please send, send me your pictures so I can give y'all a shout out. So see what y'all design. Excited to see what y'all design. All right. Salam, salam.